Hey guys, this is Take It Out, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Retro Mini HDMI 4K Game Stick. So, let's get started. So this is the Retro Gaming Stick here. It actually has 568 games on it. This is the Y2 model, not the Y2 Pro. Um, I would give a brand on this, but this is actually unbranded, and if you look on eBay, all of them that I've seen so far are unbranded. So as you can see, it does. Uh, it basically works like an Amazon Fire Stick almost. You use the uh, micro USB here on the side, and you just plug it into USB with the cord it comes with for power. And it comes with two controllers. So it has, like I said, 568 games. And I've been using this a little bit. I haven't messed with it a whole lot, but so far. Um, everything seems to work well. I'm about to show you a few games here in a second, but um, all the games seem to work well. A few of the graphics have a glitch, like I was playing Mappy the other day, and there were some uh, of the levels that kind of glitched out, like one of the bonus levels where you jump and get all the balloons for extra points. That one kind of glitched out on me. So, um, But other than that, it seems to work well so far. And I also noticed that on the side there is a 128 megabyte um, micro SD card. So I'm not sure if you can add games through that or if that's just what all the games are stored on. I didn't realize that all those games took up so little storage if that is the case. Um, but as far as I know you cannot add more games. But that will be interesting to see if you could. So let's go ahead and plug this into the TV and see just what we're getting here. Okay, so as you can see, we have the retro game stick booted up here, and here's the remote in my hand, which I will be using to play Super Mario Bros. So to select a game, you just click start, or to select an, uh, a type of game, and then you click start again. But to exit a game, it took me a minute to figure out, you click select and start at the same time, I believe. Hang on. So you hold select and start to get out of the game. So to start it, you just click start, and then this side, either button on this side is jump. See, if you can see it here, either one makes them jump, and then either one here can make them run faster. So on Super Mario Bros. here, oh, wow, I'm terrible. I'm way better at the Wii, for the record. But uh, here, I'll just show you, um, just to show you how the, the console works here takes a sec to get used to the controls. Man. I'm going to get my firepower here. If I can. Oh, wait. The firepower is over here, isn't it? I think there's an extra life right here. There wasn't. What? Where is it? Well, there is in the Wii. There it is. I'm not so sure, I mean the controls are good, it doesn't seem to respond all that fast, like it responds well, but it's just not super immediate in comparison to the Wii, which is what I normally play this on. Okay, so as you can see, Super Mario Bros. works pretty well. Oh, I forgot that. So I'll just complete this first level here. Let's see if I can jump and hit the flag. Let's see. Got it. Alright, so as you can see, it works really well. Um, you just click select to go back, so let's find a shooting game here just to show you. I'm going to see if I can find Galaxian. I believe it's on here, but uh, I used to play that game a lot. Okay, so I figured out how to do a page up. Uh, when you select games, you just click the arrow to the side or up and down like that. Galaga, here we go. This is this is the game I want to play. So I'll just show you Galaga, and we'll see how it works. OK. 
come on. Gotta shoot. It's gotta shoot faster than that. Like I said, the response is not super crazy fast. So like I'm hitting the button and it doesn't just doesn't quite shoot as fast as I would like it to. Wow, man, I ran right into that. I'm not going to go, f I don't know if you can do, I think the double ship is in Galaga, or it could be Galaxian, I'm actually not sure. No, it is Galaga, so if I'll ever hit this little dude. Good night. And there I went again. So as you can see, the game works pretty well. Um, it's pretty easy to use and so far I haven't just seen a ton of glitched out games sometimes the sound glitches out just a hair but otherwise I would say it works pretty well so thank you so much for watching this video so far my review of the retro gaming stick here is very positive it works very well especially for the price coming in at about 30 to 35 dollars on average at ebay i would definitely say that it is worth it so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and drop a like and if you want to see more videos like these go and subscribe to my channel also if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comments below and i'll try to get to them as soon as i can i'll catch you in the next video peace